Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, first of all, let's create background layer. Right mouse, new and solid layer. Add name background and color black. Click OK and click OK. Let's go to FS Presses, search Effect Gradient Ramp. Select Gradient Ramp, let's use for background layer and go to start color choose color dark blue and end color let's choose blue click ok and let's go to ramp shape choose here radial ramp and click swap colors and select this point let's move to down and this point move to down and ramp scatter let's change 100 so let's look layer and go to pen tool let's go to fill choose here none for turn off inside color click ok and stroke width change 5 and color let's choose white or let's choose here blue so let's enable title action save and right now let's add one point here like this and one down Again, one like this, and here, and like this, and one here, and let's one, let's add point here. So let's classification tool and change name stroke. And in this time, let's go to pen tool, add one point here, and one here, and next one. Add one here and here and less one here and in this time let's go to down here hold shift go to down again hold shift let's attach lines classification tool okay and this is let's change name fill and move to behind of stroke layer Select fill, press T, open opacity and change opacity like this. So in this time, select this stroke, let's open inside, contents, shape 1 and path 1, let's open inside and select path here. And go to window, as you can see we have create null from path. Let's click for open and create points full of nulls. Okay, and let's move to down this window and let's change names. This is let's look for now and this null object. Let's change name one and this two and three, four, five, six and seven. In this time, let's close stroke settings and select this field. Let's open inside contents, shape one and path one, select path. Let's click points follow nulls and close window. Let's for now select these shape layers and height and select these points. Let's select two points and lock. Also select fill, lock for now and stroke, lock layer. And select these null objects, change the name one and two, three, four, five six and seven so in this time let's enable null objects for stroke layer and let's link null objects select null object one link to null object one select two link to two select three link to three and select four link to four and select five link to five and six link to six and less one seven link to seven and select this null object one let's see how to work it okay very nice and this very good nice rigging okay so in this time let's create two frames for animation select these null objects and press p and let's go to here, let's create new pass in QFrame and go to back and select this new object 1 and let's full screen and 
moved it down and select this null object moved it down and this moved it down and this null object moved it down also this and this null object and let's one move to down okay so let's see animation okay very nice and let's play with two frames select two frames make it easy and select two frames move to left and these two frames let's move to right for one two frames and this move to right and this two frame and let's two frame let's see nice we can move to right a little bit more nice very good so in this time we can add circles let's close settings and zoom in here and turn off title action save and go to shape layer hold the second choose ellipse tool hold shift make one ellipse Clicization tool and let's move to here let's change scale more okay and let's change name one Control D for duplicate move it down again Control D duplicate move to up again move to down and again move to here and again duplicate and let's one here so in this time select this one shape layer one link to null object one select this let's change name two and link to null object two let's see okay and this let's change name three link to null object 3 and this 4 link to null object 4 and this 5 link to null object 5 and this 6 link to null object 6 and let's 1 7 link to null object 7 let's see nice very good and we can change colors let's go to fill choose color here click ok and select nulls let's hide and this null objects okay that's good and let's add grid for background select this background and let's unlock select background control D change name grid and delete gradient ramp use FX grid choose grid from generate use for grid layer let's change opacity and size form with slider okay and let's change a little bit like this and opacity and search effect cc lens select cc lens use for layer grid and change size and search effect glow and let's unlock fill and stroke choose glove use for stroke and change stroke settings and glow for fill and change settings like this so guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel like video leave comments and have a good days good luck